the most busy day ever. You could not imagine all the things I had to do today. Like always I had to make sure that everybody in the house knows who the real king of the jungle is. I tell you what, it is, of course, me. But every now and then my brother forgets it so besides a bit of cuddle I have to show him who is in charge. He sometimes just needs the slap in the face. Sometimes it is enough to show him who is on top of it all. I love my brother very much but he still needs to be reminded who of us both is the strongest. Or at least the biggest. In between all the lessons I gave him I had to follow my heart as an explorer. I found a big green something with holes in it on the other side of the street. I don't know who put it there but it was really fun walking over and under it. Some interesting smells there, too. What I don't understand is why daddy was always by my side with a very straight look on his face. Maybe he knew the green thingy has no chance against me and wanted to make sure that I don't hurt it too much. But after some time I lost interest in it and went back to teaching Alexi. At first it was a day like any other. Mommy went to work while Daddy was working from home. I mean, he calls it work, but all I see him do is sitting, clicking and staring at this silly screen. He doesn't even try to catch that little jumpy white thing on there. I did smell that something was off today, but I couldn't lay my paw on it. Daddy made a break from work way too early. Suddenly the creepy jailbox comes out. One minute I am in daddy's arms, and the next moment I am in this demonic box hearing a loud grumpy machine while I can see the world floating by on the outside. It this after daddy carries me within the box out from the grumpy machine that I realize, it is the house with the strange hummins in white cloths that always touch me at places where not even mommy and daddy are allowed. Soon after the touching starts, I don't remember anything. Must have been the baddest set of catnip anybody has ever smelled. It hit like a face paw from Joey. When I woke up, I was at home with Daddy, but at the same time I was not at home. I heard Haman singing in the distance, and the room kept spinning for hours. My legs and paws and whiskers felt like they weren't mine anymore, and Daddy kept calling me Black Dragon Toothless. What the hell is a Dragon Toothless? Thank God in the evening I was fine again and could enjoy my food with the boys. But I noticed while eating what the white cloth people did to me. They stole some of my teeth. I never have and never will trust this monsters again. Daddy kept telling me he loves me with all and with less teeth and mommy told me the same. But Joey and Alexi went on laughing about me. But who is laughing now? I am lying in bed with mommy and daddy while the boys are outside for the night. Ha! The toothless black dragon one. Whatever that is.